Ignoring Dennis. Now we brought you in, and we haven't had a conversation with you yet. And yes, I, uh, now your your main focus has been nonprofits, but yeah, I'm the annoying on... voice at the intro. Oh and, no, and, and, oh. you're the voice everybody's like, wow, he's got that smooth <laughs> voice going on. You do the, you do fantastic. I love your voiceovers. Oh well, thanks. Yeah, the, I, I work. I script those out about an hour before the show. I've so. seen you doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Do you come up with the idea only an hour before the uh, show? Or? Well, lately, uh, some some listeners have sent in lists of ideas for, for oh, intro nice. oh, treatments, great. and I've looked through that and mined that for, mm -hmm. for for stuff. For the longest time, I was trying to keep it to, uh, you know, uh, logical fallacies. Mm -hmm. You know, stating the intro in a form of a logical fallacy and. <laughs> I rapidly ran creative. out of those. <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't know. There's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot, but they get reused. Yeah. For I mean, like I've been on, uh, I've been on so many shows. I had no idea how many because mm -hmm. I'm looking at a list of intros that I've done, and I just list them by number, and I'm on like 89 now, and that's just a portion. Of all the stuff, so yep. yeah, getting to be old men here, old old women and old women too. Yeah, I used to. <laughs> so wait, am I an the, old man or an old woman? Uh, YouTube, uh, stuff like that. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, the YouTube. I can't videos. remember. Uh, videos. Uh, I used to do the DVDs, and I think that was kind of the first uh, tiny dipping our toe into the digital. Yeah, world. yeah we're still doing it was products. Just, it was just live streaming at the time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, there were some people who had moved away and things like that, still wanted to be able to see the show, but there was no way of doing that. So every day after the show, I would go home and record the whole thing on the computer and digitize the whole show. Mm -hmm. And then, again, no way to get it on the internet or anything like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> exactly, exactly, pretty much. Um, so I basically take the audio of the entire show and just make it an MP3. And every month I would send out a CD to subscribers and they'd have the entire audio of all the shows. And then I'd make quick time clips of some of the better callers mm -hmm. and have that as a separate movie file. And then I'd have, you know, sometimes people so, did. So uh, kudos, that was some of the early work and doing products and stuff. Yeah, for, trying to get us out there. And, and so. now we have a real serious archive, both, yeah. both online and, and in, in the studio here. Yeah. Um, and in the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. it's amazing how there's, it's almost like an entirely, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like an entirely different show um, once it hit the internet, once it started, once it wasn't just on public access, yeah. and once we started with the live streaming, it's like every Yeah, that was a big event for us. Changed. Yeah. 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 It, it was so, we had everything a, became different. a much different. bigger audience. We had a much more atheist audience. Right. And and it changed our colors well, quite a bit. Sometimes you'd do a show before we went on the on the internet. You'd sit and do a show. Sometimes maybe you wouldn't even get any calls. Well, yeah, we <laughs> were kind of iffy, uh, iffy yeah. visible on cable access. Right. A lot so. of folks, you know, they, they changed the channel lineups. A lot harder to find. Uh, but you'd and sit there and think, problem. you know, are we going to get callers? Oh, we got a call. You there know, were, there <laughs> were certain weeks that we just were not going to get calls. Right. You know, Super Bowl week out, mm -hmm. we're not going to get any calls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So make sure we come with content prepared because that's yeah. all we can get. Yeah. Um, and I remember, I again, I used to do the show it was all local stuff, and mm -hmm. you know, some days you get a lot of calls, some days you don't get, don't get any. And then I wasn't coming for a while, and I came back and I saw one of the shows in the studio, and I think there were like two local calls that came in. Mm -hmm. And then when there were like five or six from like London <laughs> and Australia. Yeah. And New world for us. Around yeah. the world. It's like, <laughs> whoa, what did I miss? <laughs> we're a local, ca you know, cable access show in Austin. Right. And they're now watching in New Delhi. <laughs> but then like when the show recently, when the phones went down and we couldn't get calls, the studio mm -hmm. actually uh, gleaned questions and comments from the live feed mm. and brought in a list so that we could answer oh, right, questions from right. the feed. Because really it was like, such, here's, right. just yeah. as a method of interacting with the audience, yeah, which is so something right. we wouldn't have had yeah, prior was, to the internet. That was actually, uh, you were you were hosting on that show with a guest. That was actually the, the getting them from the, the calls. That, that fell to me because I didn't have the technical. Um, 
to try and fix the phones or keep the sound level. So the fact that the first one was a Bible passage that was uh, oh, a yeah, prank, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's on me, my bad. Oh, no, it was okay. I mean, we looked, yeah. uh, we looked sure. it up before yeah. we talked. But, you, you can know, always go to World World News Daily or something yeah. and start yeah. reading the news, and there's lots yeah. of material. But no, I mean it was it was a good solution <laughs> that would not have been possible without the internet. Oh yeah. And yeah. I, mm -hmm. you know, so yes, we had more international calls. We had um, more mm -hmm. tools available because of the connection that was outside of just the phones. We had a huge, larger audience. We've got, got a big for, fan base now. for a while, we were getting predominantly atheist calls. Mm. Whereas when you look at the um, show previous, before the internet, we got a lot more theist callers. In fact, that was yeah. early. Yeah, that was scary for me because we our bread and butter is calls with theists, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have that, what were we going to do? I it's, think it's a debate <laughs> show. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess for me, part of what I thought was, you know, for a while I had that attitude. And then I kind of thought, you know, we have this different audience now. And if the show morphs into something else dynamically, but if, we, if we're still flooded with calls every week from an atheist audience, it's something, there's a need there. There's a need, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I felt like if it, it may turn out to become something that we didn't initially plan, it might mm -hmm. be a change that we just have to adjust to. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't know where it would go. I had no idea, but I just felt confident that as long as we were getting flooded with phone calls, mm -hmm. yep. it meant that there was some benefit or some value to the program that people were mm -hmm. perceiving. And so I felt at least confident with that, even if I didn't know where it was going. I'm thinking about the, you know, the times I first came into the atheist experience yeah, to yeah. either watch the show or actually participate occasionally. Sure. Uh, I remember the cavernous uh, oh, soundstage. Yeah, yeah. The big this big studio. concrete room. Yeah. Somehow fill, you know, yeah. <laughs> have the cameras there, two big honking yeah. cameras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd be off in the one little tiny corner of it because yeah. that's oh, all we it's needed. Like a real <laughs> television show. Well, it know? was a it's, huge studio. Yeah. I mean, and that's the other thing. Show. Well, I mean, that's yeah. the other thing that's kind of an irony is that the show is now got outreach uh -huh. and a much smaller studio <laughs> yeah. and before when we had almost yeah. no outreach we had this gargantuan yeah, studio. Yeah we're sitting in a 10 foot by 10 foot room. Here. But we do That's so right. much <laughs> more with it. Now. Don't spoil <laughs> the magic. The, the beauty the of it I think. huge. Well, what we wanted was more control over the show and I think mm -hmm. you know we did that yeah, like yeah. we absolutely were able to then take in the show take advice from the people that were back there producing the content mm -hmm. and I mean well responsible for the technical aspects of producing the content mm -hmm. we're able to say here's what would make our lives easier mm -hmm. here's yeah. what would allow you to do the things you want to do with the phones you know this would allow well, you know. us you know and That's so it's, yeah it's after it's after awesome. this shot we threw a little money at a few we things we want on the green screen <laughs> right. and, uh, right. green screen the phone, the, cool the phone system has been a big step forward for us it's green screen great. yeah a lot of the video editing has been been very yeah. sophisticated I mean, and that's yeah. how we got Vern. Is basically he was uh, listening. He was a, he's an avid fan, uh, still is, and he was listening. And he eventually just went, "Oh my God, the audio quality!" <laughs> <laughs> and so he showed I can't up. stand it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> effectively. Oh, there it is. There, we're that's in Austin. That's a real window yeah. into Austin. That's I where we are. I love that. Uh, there you go. Credit for asking for that. Um, because I said I wanted the the scape, and one, yeah. and our producer Mark was just like, I would love to put that scape behind the show, and I said, please do. So we tried it; people loved it, and I'm yeah. getting some signals here, and I don't know why, because I we have I think we have another clip, but I'm not getting I'm not getting um, oh. messages from the studio. So wow. is that what we Whatever want? We want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Funny oh, clip. yeah, definitely okay. some Perfect. humor. So they're telling yeah. me there's some funny clips that we want to throw in to, to get a, get some laughs here for 